So before I knew you as Gabby, now, now you're Gabriel, so. How did that happen? <laughs> so I was clueless until the, the semester I got back from my mission. I was having, I think because I, I'd never really thought about dating anyone at all. Like, I, it just didn't interest me. But then, you know, after your mission, you, there's, I feel like there was more of a pressure. And I, I had had some problems on my mission too, where my mission president had pressured me a lot and said that I needed to be more feminine and more, you know, these things, basically because I wouldn't find a spouse and I wouldn't be able to attain the highest, you know, exaltation. And, you know, I don't want to be damned. It was something that scared me a lot. Um, and so I was trying really hard to be a lot more feminine than I ever had in my life that, that semester. And I was trying to date or get dates, I guess. Um, I wasn't really enjoying them. Uh, and eventually fi figured out that, you know, I didn't like boys at all. And in fact, was, had fallen quite in love with a good friend of mine. And then that strained me kind of a lot, and it was hard for me to take in, especially being such a Mormon. Like, I was a very, very orthodox person, so it was hard for me. And, but you know, given that, I don't know, I think a few things in my life allowed me to kind of take it in. Like, my parents got divorced when I was 17, and that was kind of hard because it, it kind of breaks away from the traditional Mormon, like, life. And so I had already experienced a little bit of it, and I think it helped me to take the blow a little bit. But, you know, lots of people helped me. I'm sure God helped me. I'd never heard of transgender, never in my life. And it just kind of clicked, and I sort of like pondered on it for a few days, and I was like, oh yeah, like that's totally, that makes so much more sense. Especially since I never really felt like a lesbian, so I'm just a normal straight dude now, so I guess. Uh, so, and th that's how there was that switch. And so then I, I realized I was trans, not, not gay, and went from there. Where does the transgender community fit in with sports? There's a lot of questions about if a, a trans male should participate with women or with men. Uh, what, do you, what do you think? For me, um, I did a competition about was it two weekends ago? I think it was two weekends ago, and I competed, competed in the female brackets. Um, and I actually, I won first place in my bracket, which was fun and exciting, but it, I also like, I know there's part of me that feels like it's kind of cheating, I don't know. But I, I don't know, of course, I, and then you, you know, you imagine me competing with men, I would be like squished so fast, you know, like, and so especially right now, I'm in such a middle, like kind of awkward spot that it's kind of hard to say where I should be. My coach is, uh, Coach Pease, he, doesn't really understand trans issues all that much and so I tried to sort of explain it to him and he was and like I explained my that I was a little uncomfortable like competing with women but also I can't really compete with men like what should I do type of thing and he was just like oh like nobody would ever want you to compete with a man and I was like oh thanks you know like <laughs> I don't think he realized that it kind of hurt my feelings but you know and it wasn't I didn't it wasn't that bad or anything but he was just like oh of course you're gonna compete with women that's what you are right especially once you start taking hormones um, it's it's kind of a different story and you know you, I, you do you gain weight you have more muscle mass um, so it's I, I think in a it like in a couple months I wouldn't I just wouldn't be able to do it because I think I would have a really un, un, unfair advantage you know but, you know it's almost like taking steroids for trans women that's a whole nother thing because you know, the, it, it would be seen that if they go to the, if, to, if they compete as a female, they would be seen to be seen to have like an unfair advantage too, being born uh, perhaps in a, in a way that gives them more muscle, more physical ability. As far as the locker rooms go, since you kind of have to strip down there, um, I mean, you'd probably have a couple options. You could probably like, shower with something on if you I don't know like I'm just trying to like be creative here maybe but I, I think the the easiest would be to have some sort of separate room or something and then I mean if you're totally comfortable with yourself maybe just talking to the people that you're gonna be with and be like hey like is this okay you know does this offend anybody which I don't think it should right I think if if the trans person feels comfortable then they should be fine it's probably now again trans men it's a little easier with trans women now 
I, that, that's probably just not gonna fly, which is unfortunate and it just, you know, there's, there's some privilege going on there. Um, but yeah, I, I imagine that most women would feel uncomfortable with a trans woman in the bathroom if, if she hasn't, you know, gone through surgeries, which most do because they're, you know, they're, I think their surgeries aren't quite as expensive and actually have pretty good results. So I think most end up doing it at some point, in which case, you know, again, maybe nobody would be the wiser there. Um, but yeah, I can't, I mean, I can't speak for trans women, but I would, I would imagine that having some sort of other place to go would be probably best for everybody. I always just wish that people would, would just kind of let, let people be and just, you know, not maybe, maybe not be, and you know, this is a lot of wishful thinking. And I know like even I mess this up all the time and I judge people prematurely and I don't understand people and I don't realize that I don't understand them. But that's something that I feel like, you know, it's something that I wish is that people were a little, maybe less, less defined with, you know, what gender roles have to be in our, would be more open to a variety of experiences and would learn more. And I think, you know, I think society is headed in that direction. As far as gender goes, we're letting people kind of be a little bit more outside of the box. Um, and I really think that, you know, if you feel like you don't understand trans issues or you feel like it's some sort of like mental problem, or if you have any other, like, I don't know, I, I can't think of all the myths right now, but if you just feel like you don't understand them, like go find someone or go, if you can't find someone or you don't know someone, which you probably do, um, you can always go online and just read up on people's experiences and what actual trans people say. I think that's the best way to understand any, any marginalized or person that you don't understand is just to go straight to the source.